Hello and welcome to another art review. This time I'm reviewing the Martin Wong show at the Camden Arts Centre. Now I didn't know Martin's work at all before seeing this exhibition and it turns out that this is the first time his work has ever been shown in the UK. He was a San Francisco hippie in the 1960s and later he moved to New York to a location that was literally crumbling around him. The influence of these places is really present in the work. Clearly Wong's work wasn't purely from the mind or intellect. He was reacting to what was around him. And this provides motifs that are constantly used in his work. For example, bricks feature in a lot of the works, which were all around him in the old crumbling buildings. Also, there's a story that a deaf person gave him a sign language card on a train and he was so fascinated with this that he learned sign language and started to include it in his work. One of the first words you encounter when you walk through the door is this long text piece on scrolls, Sewer Goddess, a Martin Wong fairy tale. For me, this is easily the most exciting piece in the exhibition. It is possible to read the text, but it's not easy to read in a fluent way. But it's not actually the content of the text that I love. Visually, these pieces are amazing. From a distance, the text ceases to be recognisable letters and makes really interesting patterns. This has such a beautiful aesthetic impact. Some of the letters are written in a way that makes particular shapes and you can almost see drawings within the text. It's not clear whether this is intentional or not, but I do really like it. This made me quite excited to see the rest of the work, but unfortunately, I found that nothing else quite matched up to this. There is a short documentary about his work shot by a friend in the 1990s. This is interesting to see him working and to understand what interested him and to see his process. However, I just wasn't that keen on a lot of the work in this show. Most of the work was painting, and on the whole, it doesn't feel as if his paintings work. Some of the marks feel problematic in their execution, at times almost clumsy, quiche and gaudy. Of course, clumsy can be interesting, but in this case, I just didn't find it so. What I can say on the positive side is that the paintings feel like an authentic expression of his creativity. They feel like he wasn't trying to impress anyone, that he was really being true to himself, and I do very much appreciate that. The most effective paintings for me were the life-size gates and storefronts resting on the floor, and I quite liked this picture looking through the bars into a jail cell. There's lots of paintings with bricks, and the most successful of these is My Secret World 1978-81. to This has a lot of his motifs in, the bricks, the sign language, the doors, the pool ball. I like the fact it's like two framed pictures, but we're actually looking into a living space, or even an emotional space, given that it's called My Secret World. There were some beautiful sketchbooks with simple drawings and text on display in the cabinets and I did enjoy these as well. There's a short video on the website where the curators say that he was an important counterculture figure and of course seeing him his work in its time perhaps there is a little bit more to it than I was giving it credit for but I'm not sure. He was making work in a time when art was dramatically changing and definitely moving away from painting. Interestingly, although there are mentions of him being involved in performance work and experimental theatre, there's only hints of that. The bulk of the exhibition is his paintings. Overall, I can't say that I love his work. What I love most is his authentic expression. If he was clinging on to painting more than his contemporaries, this does signal that he was being true to himself. I would say it is worth visiting, there's quite a lot of work to look at, and even though it's not exactly my cup of tea, I'm really glad that I went. Thanks for watching, see you next time.